Good morning, guys. What's up, Rays? Shout out to Rays for all the videos. So if y'all need any videos for YouTube, definitely reach out to Rays. He's the man. So today we're out here in Morgan Hill, California. First and foremost, I'm Edgar. Here we are with All One Solar Shine. Got my boy also Samuel, definitely helping out. So out here in Morgan Hill, California, what we're gonna do is bird proofing. So Ray's is gonna turn this camera around shortly. He's gonna try and zoom in on the bird proofing that this customer currently has. And it's failing. So this bird proofing was done back in 20, uh, around 2017 is what she told me. So it's a, you know, it's a few years old. But besides it being old, it's also just the wrong material. It's more like a chicken wire. So with it being chicken wire, it's, it's gonna be very flimsy and this also just wasn't, wasn't correctly installed. So that's definitely the issue here. So we're gonna be removing all that, disposing all that offsite, and then we're gonna be installing the new um, bird proofing material. And so with that, uh, you know, we definitely want these protected and we wanna make sure that the customer is definitely protecting her investment because you know, solar panels are a costly investment. So you definitely wanna keep those protected. So um, we're gonna get started. If you have any questions, you know, drop a comment, send me a message. If you want a quote, drop a comment, send me a message, give me a call, and you know, we're definitely here to help you. Now, real quickly, the reason why you need to repair it is because of pigeons. Yes. What do they do? They have a party under solar panels or what? <laughs> Absolutely, man. They're partying like it's 1999. So. So she currently has pigeons already coming under here. Not a lot because of the weather. Because of the weather, it's too cold, a lot of the rain. Um, you know, pigeon activity isn't very common right now. It, 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 gets, it starts to get common in the spring and the summertime. That's where you really see heavy pigeon activity. So, but what they do is, one, they make a mess. A big mess. And it's estimated that one pigeon does about 25 pounds of bird poop per year. So, I mean, you don't typically only have one pigeon. You have three, four, five, six. You know, that adds up to a lot of bird poop. What that bird poop does is it ruins your, ruins your roof. It creates extra weight on your roof that, you're, you know, that also damages your roof long-term. And it just traps in the humidity and all that acid also from their, from their poop and their pee. It's just a lot of things put together that aren't healthy and aren't good for your roof. Other things that they can do is as they're nesting or as they're you know, parting under there, they can, you know, eat at the wires, they can mess up the wires, maybe disconnect a couple wires. So they just do cause a lot of issues, a lot of problems that, you know, that the homeowner doesn't want to have to deal with. You have to either call your installer. Some people nowadays are dealing with installers that have gone out of business, so they have to try and find someone else, a third party to come and fix this. Cost more money because, you know, since that installer isn't in business anymore, it's going to be a cost out of their pocket to come and fix this. So simple solution is get them bird proofed. And, um, you know, you don't have to worry about it. The best thing to do is bird proof them before the pigeons come though, you know. But if pigeons are already there, by all means, we come here, we clean everything up, we take out all that mess from one of the panels, we dispose of it, you don't have to worry about it, and then we get that bird proof up there. All right, guys, so right here we have our bird proofing mesh. Um, if you haven't seen this already, it's in another video. This is your bird proofing mesh, PVC coated, so it doesn't rust, it doesn't break. This is steel. And um, if you want to check that out. So let me ask you real quick. Yeah. Is that chicken wire or is that what you're calling it? That's what I'm calling it. That's what I'm calling it. I'll show it. When I bring it down, I'll show you guys what it is. It's very similar to chicken wire. It's not 100% chicken wire, but that's what I'm calling it. So we, we currently have two providers. Our first provider, it gives you a 100 foot roll. It's just one long roll. And then what we do is we cut it into these sections. Um, we use the two, we use a concrete square as, as a measurement. The reason why we do that is because when we go to attach it, if the wind, if the rain, um, a storm, or even a, you know, a bird or a pigeon or any other critter goes up there and takes one section off and we have to come back and fix it, it's a lot easier to just replace or to fix that one section rather than wrapping it all around with one long roll and if it, something falls off, then you're dealing with the whole section coming off. Does that make sense? So it's a lot easier to, to put this up and to replace this if anything was to happen. Um, right now, with the amount of bird proofing jobs that I've done, I haven't had any issues. We definitely had some really big storms this year. So, you know, no calls to come back. So everything's been doing good. 
So what most people do or what you've seen, they get one long uh, row and then they wrap it around. Is that what they do? Is that, that's what a lot of people do. And that's what, that's what this job is. This job is one long roll wrapped around. One, it's not this. And two, it's just one long roll wrapped around. So what tends to happen is when one side falls off, it tends to just, you know, keep falling off, keep falling off, and then eventually a good amount of it has fallen off. For example, I see some hanging out from the house. You see right there? Yeah. Is that what? Is that why? Yep, that's definitely mm. it. And then, um, and then when we go up there, you can also see, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys, I'll take some other footage from, you know, rooftop, that way you can see how flimsy it is, how some of it's already come off. Now, like I said, I have two providers. One provider is one long roll, 100 feet. Another provider, it's a little more expensive for those of you who are looking for this, but it's already cut into these sections. So you don't have to deal with um, cutting it. You don't have to spend this time cutting it. It's just a grab and go and start installing it. So it kind of, you know, it goes up to what your budget is and just, you know, and on the amount of time that you have. Can you afford to sit here and cut the small sections and save a little bit on the, on the actual material? Or do you want to already buy it already pre-cut, ready to install, spend a little bit more up front? So that, those are the two options that they have right now. Um, later on, the industry is talking about, like if you want to take a look at that roof raise, mm -hmm. that roof raise um, is the S tile. So it has those valleys. This one just a, a flat concrete tile. So with those ones being the S, they are also talking about some, pro, some vendors having this mesh already pre-cut in that valley shape. So that way it's also just go and install versus right now, if I was to take this, I'd have to go and cut this. So that way I have the, I have the mesh going into the valleys and then my high points, you know, cut out. And Edgar, before you go up there, tell me about the ladders that you're using, man. Yeah, so we have a small, small ladder right there, about 12 foot, that one we're gonna put on the first floor to help us get to the second floor so we can do the front lip right here on those saddle panels right up top. We have a 32 footer that's about to fall. <laughs> oh my God, man. All right, so I'm, uh, I'm up here on the roof. I wanna give you guys kind of like an aerial view so you guys can see what it currently looks like. One, you can see that the mesh itself isn't even covering all the way to the top. The mesh should always stop right here. It should sit flush with your solar panels. That way the, the pigeons don't go underneath. For example, just, just it being like this, the pigeons can come. So they can easily come underneath. And with it not being strong and secure, that's the problem. You can already see here some pigeon mess or bird mess. Same with over here. So that's the reason why the homeowner made us come out. If you look on the other side now, you will see that this has already come off. And so this is an easy spot for the birds to come in and have their party. This mesh was installed using zip ties and I don't do that. What we use is stainless steel J hooks and you'll see the way I install it. I mean, I really didn't put any pressure and I was able to pull this off. All right, Ray, so we have our cutters right here. Um, there's two, we have two different styles. This one's kind of like a, like a wire cutter. And then we have one that's also kind of like a scissors. So um, my preference would be something like this. It's definitely a lot more heavier duty. It's definitely going to cut a lot easier. So you're not putting so much, you know, strain on the hands to cut these, to use these when you cut. And then you also, if you were to go with something like this as well, you want to make sure you get the straight edge because they do sell this in a straight and also in a curve. So you want to make sure that you get the straight, that way you're cutting straight lines. We'll be using this. We'll obviously be using the mesh. And then we also use, we do use zip ties only though when we're cutting, the, when, we're, when we're doing the corners. So on the corners, we have to cut the mesh so that way we're able to make that good 90 degree corner. And then that's when we'll be zip tying to join the two corners together of the mesh. That way we seal that joint and we um, you know, don't leave any gaps or holes for the birds to go through or to make it open, to, op to open it more. And then these are the J hooks. So these are stainless steel J hooks. 
this hook right here attaches to the bottom of the panel and then with pressure as we pull it back we're going to be sliding this forward and that's what's going to grab the mesh and with pressure force it against the solar panel that way it stays nice and tight these are these are cut and they're installed so that way they don't go back they only go forward all right Edgar. two hours in already almost two hours see i'm new to this the rate you're going, is it normal, slower, or faster than usual? What's it's, taking long? It's a little slower. Yeah, well, because you're also training Sam, right? Yeah. Sam's having too much fun. <laughs> he's enjoying He's enjoying the view more than working, I think. Oh, 100%. My yeah. Bad. I could yeah, tell. He's 100% faster alone. Got it. Man, look at them jeans, though, bro. You're getting them them colors. Goodwill, baby. <laughs> I learned real quick, I don't buy any more new jeans for will this work. Now, I see the burp proofing. Is it supposed to be that long going down? Yes, yes. Yeah. So the reason why it's gonna be this long is because the J-hooks, they attach to the frame of the panel, so you need it to be this high. And then you also want it to be this long down because it's now touching the tile. So this entire gap from the frame to the tile is now blocked versus the other mesh that i took off was just only the bottom of the panels but there was a lot of openings a lot of gaps on there so you it wasn't really protecting the opening or that gap between the frame and the tile so this is why you want it to be this long um, bird proofing in today's market comes in a six inch and then an eight inch right so this is an eight inch and depending on just you know however your tile is depending on how big the gap is you're going to want to go to six inch with an eight inch and i've also been told they even have a 12 inch i personally have not worked with a 12 inch before um, i haven't had any panels that sit that high off the roof so right now it's only been an eight inch all right everyone so hopefully you enjoyed this video i know it was a lot there was a lot of information thrown at you regarding the bird proofing the what kind the how the why, the when. So it's all this information is definitely golden nuggets for you to, to understand, to know why you really need to get your solar panels bird proofed. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Drop all your comments down below, please. Let me know how you would have done it. Let me know if you would have done anything differently. Let me know if you use another type of mesh that maybe is new on the market that I'm aware of. Um, it's all about just, you know, innovating and getting the best out there for my clients and making sure every homeowner is taken care of. Also comment below how you like this video, if it had all the information and knowledge that you needed, that way you can go and get the bird proofing done the correct way. And obviously only one way. You definitely don't wanna do it wrong one time and have to redo it again the second time. So uh, we're done now with this bird proofing job. On to the next one. We have more bird proofing quotes and bids and approvals down the line. Next week is gonna be another great week ahead. So stay tuned for more videos. Message me, give me a call, shoot a DM, you know, another, a bunch of great ways to get a hold of me that way you guys can ask for a quote if you're in the mountain view los altos saratoga down in morgan hill gilroy and all the cities in between shoot me a message i want to get you a quote don't forget though we're also in sacramento so if you're also in the sacramento valley area with our two locations operating fully operating you can all we can always take care of you and you can get that quote for whatever the case may be solar panel cleaning solar panel bird proofing gutter cleaning the season is still not over so make sure you get your gutters gutters cleaned and also last but not least window washing have a good one peace